Hi guys, Kendra from Catholic All Year and I'm here with my first ever crafting tutorial to show you how easy it is to make an Easter candle because it's 2020 and you probably can't use the one at church this year. All right, so all you'll need is a pillar candle, you use any size, uh, or really any candle. You could even use a taper candle. Um, you'll need, this is a heat gun, hair dryer would work too. Tissue paper like you use for gift wrap and uh, printer paper. And uh, the PDF that you can use whatever uh, design you want, but if you wanna use the ones that I've got, um, there's a PDF available that I will link to in the notes, uh, or you can find it on my blog, catholicallyear.com. So, what you do, take a piece of printer paper, cut a piece of tissue paper slightly smaller than the printer paper. You're gonna take scotch tape, tape it down. It doesn't have to go all along every edge, but you wanna just make sure that it's not gonna grab when it goes through the printer. So what I like to do is one along each side, along each edge, and then in each, a smaller piece in each of the corners. So it's really down. Then paying attention to which side your printer prints on, you're going to want to put it in and then you print it out and it looks, you know, just like printing. This is for a, a three inch diameter, six inch tall candle. Uh, but you can resize the images. It's a PDF, so you can print it, you know, percentage, bigger or smaller, if uh, you needed a different size. Scissors, and you're gonna cut out this design uh, without leaving a lot of, uh, without leaving a lot of extra space, so you, but it doesn't have to be super, super exact. Just cut along the design. is exciting. You guys are going to think that this is hard and you can't do this and I'm telling you it is amazingly easy and they turn out really nice looking. All right, there we go. So now that's cut out and it's just printer, printed on the tissue paper. Then you take the candle and you need wax paper or parchment paper. You line up the design on your candle, like so. And it's nice because it kind of sticks for you a little, clings a bit. And you just want to make the edges line up. And then paying attention to the back edge. You might not have it lined up exactly, exactly perfect, and that's gonna be fine because it's the back. And who will know? All right, so you got that. Take your parchment paper, and you're gonna use it to grab the candle like that. Heat gun or hair dryer. If you're using a hair dryer, you might need gloves or something. I don't know. It'll probably get hot. Then you just use the heat gun to slightly, slightly melt the candle, and it soaks the tissue paper right into there. You can sort of tell by looking at it 
uh, it, the, the color changes ever so slightly. All right, I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna rotate my candle around. So I get this side. in a little bit you can just take the heat gun without the parchment and just go over it careful of your fingers leave uh, fingerprints on there but voila that's it that's all it takes and you go from plain to pascal candle that's it you can do it have a happy easter